doesn't matter. In the end, it's really everything practice. It's only practice. And trusting in yourself. Put a lot of color on it and the water will do it. Soft. Here I want to make it a little bit not so detailed. I'm doing it like this. And you can do that with every topic. You can paint really in detail also in, in aquarelle and watercolor completely. That's the last flower, and then I will show you a really important thing. For example, if you paint it somewhere and it's not white anymore and you want it to have it white, for example, here I want to have it white, then I bought, for example, this white, and it's um, black white, like really good one, and you can put it and make it white again. So even with watercolor, you can play afterwards too. So even if you painted somewhere where you didn't want to paint, you can delete it. to do now the background already too and then again maybe I change a little bit so the background is green I will put a lot of color first and try that's the good thing you can still do you don't need to do it like exactly as in a photograph or what you have in front of you because the water is also doing already cool effects like this watercolor is really only playing And I'm using a lot of water, really a lot, you see. Also painted now here. Yeah. A little bit darker. And then it's doing so special effects.
with a sponge you could use now and do this, you know? You can also paint again on it. So if you don't want to too much color, you can reduce it by yourself when it's still wet. Even when it's dry, I think you can also paint over it, above it with water. So it's no magic, you want to say. And I'm doing a tear, dark, dark, dark. Maybe a little bit yellow. Because it's nice. <laughs> and you see, it's not like this here. But I like it with that color. I can also decide as I want it. And it's still cool. And you see here, for example, the water is doing these things what um, the nature is doing in the end. Like, it's like really like nature. It's like the, the plants. And it's just doing that only with water, a lot of water. So I can make my own garden. Okay, now I want to still do the flower. I'm, I'm using now the really detailed one, the small brush. And for example, I want to do this still. And it's more brown. I can also use here. I'm also using this here always. It's like when you had too much color, I'm putting it here on and then I have still already more color. Detailed, so I'm painting with a detailed brush. You can also paint over it again. Also paint with the white, I will show you. Cool things. Okay, there's not too much color. And you have already something. Of course, you can do it more and more detailed.
Now I'm using a little bit a different color, a little bit more darker. I can also mix it. So I'm making more the differences. can really play around. For example, I would think I like it more when it's here darker. Then you can see the flower more. Playing with the colors. I have all of them. Do you see it? It's making the water. Your job. You can also push it like a bit, bit more. The other side. I think I want to do here. Okay, I think I will also do more that little things behind the plant, but you can see that's a plant, <laughs> you can do everything. You see, I didn't want this, I didn't like it too much, so I'm cancelling it like this. Doing more, making more water. Thing. So that the, in the end, the color is doing that. Want. Don't forget your sign. Enjoy <laughs> and have fun. <laughs>